take a look at this bow. Uh, it opened itself in some mystery beyond. What? You sense a huge weight, like a stone, opening itself to some mystery beyond. What do these mean? These I gotta admit, this is kind of more clever way of describing the spells. Like, you get a sense of what these spells do, but I don't know what they do. Frost-covered door sits firmly on a stone frame. That should be the dragon. Yeah, I'm gonna save before I go in there. Actually, should we? Right, let me talk to the ice elemental, I guess. Not knowing what to say, you introduce yourself to the elemental. The creature replies by blowing air in your face. I mean, turd. Well, no. Let's think about this. He's Arctic air. He just put part of himself in me. Was I just raped? <laughs> <laughs> A uh, strange entity made entirely out of solid ice and cold vapors. It hovers around the room in front of you. I mean, I could hit it with a torch, but do I want to make an enemy now? See if you can pet him. Uh, pet, I mean grab. Oh, nope. Chill runs down your spine and paralyzes your arm as you try to grasp the elemental. The creature easily dances away. Huh. Not surprised. Me neither. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a second. Well, you know what? I just saved. Fuck it. Fuck this guy. Fuck you. As you try, you cannot light the ice elemental on fire. Well, I yeah, I did try. Uh, yeah, that looks like a giant spider. A frozen mass appears to be a massive arachnid encased in a thick layer of ice. You shake your head, wondering what the thing is and how it got in its predicament. Well, I mean, we, I gotta imagine we can uh, free it using a torch. The flame is much too small to melt ice and free the creature. Oh, thank God. Oh, uh-oh. The smell of brimstone rises within the chamber as a pair of glowing eyes watches your every move from the opening of the far wall. Well, grab the shield. Well, no, let's, let's talk to him. Maybe we can reason with him. Sure. With the authority you can muster, you can help <laughs> the dragon sit. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon ship. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Just pour me some more tea. <laughs> yes, thank you, Captain. <laughs> uh, I actually brought some tea soaked apple slices. Uh, it's in my teapot right now, so I'm going to be eating that as we go on through the night. Uh, scorching fire at you. You's dead. Quicker than you thought possible, the flame engulfs you. You scream with excruciating pain as your flesh is seared from your bones. <clears throat> you have chosen poorly. You Yonder. have chosen poorly. <laughs> that was fun. You have chosen poorly. Wait a second, I saved after this. Hang on. Yeah, here it is. Quick save in the cellar. I don't want to go through that whole thing with the, uh, the, the elite bobbers. So, all right, in we go. Okay, equip shield. Yeah. You last the iron, iron shield securely on your forearm. With a roar, the Ancient Beast releases a scorching stream of fire at you. You raise your iron shield just in time to block the dragon's flame, dispersing it harmly. So, what we need for sure... What is this? How does that so go? You need, you're going to need them glasses. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot about those glasses. Uh, well, I can talk to the glasses. This is where this isn't where you normally get the fucking glasses. <clears throat> yeah, I actually it should be way later in the castle. It, you clear your throat and address the skull. York awakens with a shout of surprise. Herschel, is that you? 
Gather another breath, the dragon releases a superheated stream of fire at you. You lift the iron shield at once and block the fiery flames. Although this time you can actually feel the heat. All right, we'll take we'll take the skull with glasses. Put it in your satchel. And your dragon shifts its way as part of the last course of potatoes. You barely manage to raise your shield in time. To block the dragon wings, will the shield protect you? It glows red hot. Give the hammer and the spear. Yep. Once again, the dragon bathes you in molten lava. You manage to raise the shield and deflect the dragon flame. However, the fire is taking its toll on the shield. It's beginning to melt. Well, hopefully, this will be the last time. Uh, Dragon Blood 4. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> that 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 one time you took to, to speak to the skull was one time too many. Remnants of the shield while you're safe. Your shield finally succumbs to the dragon's breath and is completely destroyed. It's a helm. Looks a bit big for you. Well, I mean... I didn't get Did everything. Should I just reload so I can get the helm too? Did we need the helm in the last one? I believe the helm is an answer for the Sphinx. The reload. Yeah. Actually, no. Let's finally get this to work. All right. Hey there, Dragon Dragon. Let's just equip this shield. Suddenly, fire. Okay, we're going to grab Herschel. There we go. There's some fire. We definitely need the spear and hammer. And maybe the helmet. So there's a way to soft lock the game now that the shield disappears. Good to note that. There's the helm. Alright. Alright, that is everything. I am not going to stick around and try to open this chest. Uh, I don't believe you could in the original either. Yeah, it gives me the option, but eh, no, let's get out of here. And I think you managed to rush in from the room before the dragon could release a blast of fire. Let's get a proper, proper save here. That was a lot of progress. So, um, now what? I guess that middle room is the only thing we <laughs> we have left, right? Well, uh, yeah, there, there's the the middle room. Maybe that'll give us a, a hint on how we can capture these wisps. Ooh, this is a lot cooler than the Nintendo version. Oh wow. The stoom tome lining the walls of this musty crypt. There's an ancient, almost reverent air to this place. Then we're gonna break it. <laughs> there was no shark, yeah, so you must be able to wade into the water. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I buy it. Totally. Let's take a look at these glasses here. All of this skull has a pair of glasses melted to the head. Uh, hefty war hammer, finely crafted and laid with gold. A uh, spear appears perfectly balanced and one end has to be sharpened to a deadly point. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, I'll put on the helmet. Let me look at it first. Uh, dented helmet looks a bit small for you. Well, I'll, I'll wear it anyway. Place the helmet on your head. It, it fits a bit snug. Unlike the other torches you have seen in these caves, this torch is welded to the bracket. Same. 
Damn. Oh, no. This torch is welded to a twisted metal bracket. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to pull it. Try as you might, you cannot pull the torch downwards. It appears to be stuck in place. Hmm. It happens if you light them. The torch bursts into flames. This torch bursts into flames. All the torches have burst into flames. Uh, we have we have achieved much here today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with this guy. The base base relief carved into the tomb is of an ancient figure brandishing a sword. Oh, this guy. When you open the tomb, a horrific creature is letting out a piercing scream that cuts into your very being. It's a banshee! Harbinger of death and disease. You feel a momentary stabbing pain before the specter winks out of existence. These remains are on old linen cloth. You're surprised that you can still smell the nauseating odor of embalming. Uh, is it me or is things blurrier? Things seem blurrier. Ancient wrapping quickly go up in flames and the musties consumed. A sword that was buried inside is revealed. Well, there's the sword. Your vision clears as the episode passes. Whoa, that was intense. Yo, dude. Put the sword in your satchel. Uh, it's a long sword, ornately carved. Excellent craftsmanship. However, the blade looks very dulled by age. Eh. We'll use it to stab beautiful women later. Oh, that's right. No, we need the arrow for that. Banshee made it blurry. Weird. Um, time to quick save again. Do Doom Lad, you, you pick one of these three. Door number one, door number two, or door number three. Door number four? Question mark? <laughs> While you're deciding, we're going to take a quick look at the map. Oh my god. There's this guy just throwing up in this picture over here. <laughs> Let's open the center one. Okay. I think this is the center one. Uh, cowled, shadowy figure carved into the lid of this crypt. Slides open with an eerie creak. York speaks up. The last time I was here, there was a wizard about... Oh, wait. You've already said that. Uh, ancient rapids are so dry, they almost disintegrated, the burns, blah, 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 blah. So, I see a couple of things. I see a skull here. Faint hum of power rises from the strange symbol of the skull's forehead. The mark doesn't appear to be carved, but rather fused into the bone. Gee, I, I wonder if this is an important skull. Uh, faded and stained. If this I wonder is if these two will go in the front door. I don't know. It's worth a try. If this is from Flendell, I swear to God. It's a drawing of a castle with a single, single tall spire in the center. Hey, that's Castle Shadowgate. It has been scalded on the parchment. A single line points to the exact middle of the tower, and next to it, these words. Three times right, then once pulled down, twice past midnight, points to the ruined crown. Light becomes dark, Ken sits a throne, the mask one reveals, shall mark the stone. Probably should take that. Probably. Uh, that just leaves these three. I'm betting this one goes to the, the fun house. Because it seems to fit. Right? It's on the left side of the room, so it would go to the left room. Well, nobody said I got here by being smart. Uh, groaning moan. Uh, 
Uh, da -da -da -da. He's wrapped in the floor. What is this? It dropped a shield. Hefty wooden shield that could withstand. Oh, oh, this is like the. Uh, I believe this is the. Uh, in case you burned up the first one without getting everything because you were busy talking to a skull. Uh, that just leaves this one on the right. No slime so far. The likeness of the regal figure has been engraved in the lid's tomb. Hey, we found a scepter in a bag. Amazing that that leather sack didn't burn up with the, everything else. Ancient symbol showing two griffins locked in deadly combat. It is crafted into the gem encrusted sphere. The scepter. Okay, we got a parchment. Par 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 parchment. Rummaging through the thick burlaps, you find a scroll and you take a discarded sack. Huh. I think leather would burn less than a paper scroll, maybe. Yeah, you want to read this? Okay. Cam? <clears throat> oh, okay. The handwritten scroll is faded and difficult to read, but you can make out one passage. When Mahal's tail lights the northern skies and the alignments are in apogee, then shall the water nourish the tree, and the eagle shall fly with wings of fire, and it is watched by the all-seeing eye. Cryptic. Wizards and their bullshit. Not really. Uh, wizard, shall I turn left or turn right? We shall go the way of the all-seeing eagle. Is that a is that left or right? It is the it is the mark of wisdom to follow the the northern sky. Just left. It's that left. Yes. <laughs> Figure carved. <laughs> <laughs> figure carved in the lid of the tomb has a mischievous feral look to it. It's holding two upside down torches. Oh, well, that's a quick save if I've ever seen one. You try to open the crypt, however, it is fused shut. Oh, we've, we've got hammers for that. <laughs> that was cute. Hit the marble like material as hard as you can, can with a hammer. That it fails to chip or dimp the crypt. I don't see a secret passage here this time. Huh. Strange iridescent glyphs line the inside of this crypt. They give off a particularly malevolent air. You know what? I'm gonna cast a gap on this crypt here. Sweat beads in your brows as you concentrate on the glass and release a spell. The power of your magic flies in a spectacular fashion, but does a little else. Fuck. You hammer time this, uh, this crypt here. Nothing happens when you use the hammer. I don't see any other hidden elements around here. So, is the center crypt clickable? Yeah. Oh, I, I just don't. Him. I just can't do anything with it. Go lay down. The iron bracket of this lit torch looks broken. Punch it. Oh, hey, there we go. You hit the torches. <laughs> <laughs> Forcing it downwards. Cool. What what did that do? What 
Okay, so I hit the torch. Now what? Wait, try the other torches, my dude. Oh, they all come down. You yank on the torch, pulling it downwards. Well, what if I do this? You hear a mechanism to release, and then a rumbling beneath you. You jump back as the tomb at the center of the room slowly moves across the floor, revealing a stairway leading downwards. Uh -huh. The torch pulling it downwards. So, I have three of these. Okay. Well, I guess we're going here now. Hey! There it is. Um, shall we just start breaking mirrors? <laughs> Save first. Y yeah. Well, I, I saved in the previous room. That's, that's enough for now. Or we'll take a ride into space. So, what, wait, what is this? Room filled with mirrors? Yeah, but what are these? Oh, those were holding the torches before. So, let's take a look at these mirrors first. So we got one where the surface is warped in an odd way, either that your hips are really that big. Um, this one, you jump back in surprise before looking around the room. What? You catch movement behind you in this reflection. Huh. Although dusty, the surface of this mirror casts a fine reflection on yourself. So that's the one, right? Uh, you look at the reflections of the mirror, it bulges out a bit, some pushes from the other side. That one's probably space. You admire a dashing figure you see in the mirror. And a uh, distorted image of yourself, your head looks much larger. Alright. Let's get to smashing. Take a mighty swing with a hammer and crash the mirror shatters. That's it? Oh! Wait, I can look at this giant rock. It's a rock. Hey, I can look <laughs> at this giant rock. This is also a rock with some quartz. Here's a rock. It's got some quartz, too. That's it. All right, well, let's continue our mirror-smashing ways. With all your might, you swing the hammer in the mirror. Oddly enough, the weapon just bounces off the glass. Perhaps the mirror is enchanted. Uh, same, just bounces off the glass. I'm a little disappointed there's no space death. Uh, bounces off the glass. There we go. Uh, a good section of the mirror has been shattered, revealing metal underneath. Oh, that's the door. Might have swing with this hammer, shatters and sprays the room with glass. I'm a little bit disappointed. If I'm no honest. death. All right, but we got this one to work at least. Uh, broken shards of this mirror catch the torchlight, sending a colorful prism around the room. The door waits behind with the facade. Mm, no, no, it's locked. Huh. Oh my god, really? Okay, let's save. I got an idea. So remember that rune that's just on the outside of this sewer area? Oh, yeah. We have a gear. What you expect it hasn't happened. The gear does not do much anything over the rune. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I had another idea. So, we are now holding on to a shield. Alright. Figure moves. There's a whistle of an arrow. You raise your shield at the last possible moment. The arrow bounces nice. off the wood and lands unharmed on the ground. At your feet. Fletching of this arrow looks a bit tattered, but it's a silver arrow tip 
in good condition. Good Progress. Job. That's worth a save. Okay. Um, I guess let's take this skull back to the uh, the front area. Why not? Since we're here. Yeah, since we're we're doing shit. And we still haven't opened this hatch yet. It's raining now. Oh, uh, it was raining before. Was it? Yeah, it really was. Yep, that's it. The skull snaps out of your hand into the slot of the archway. There's a brief glow of the thermal power it fills. Something just beyond the door seems to have come alive. Uh-oh. All right. Do you now hear a sound that we didn't hear before? Is that what that is? Strike the lever but it refuses to budge. Well, I guess it just did it before. I mean, I do. I don't know what it means, though. Maybe we need two more scrolls or two more skulls, and maybe it um, opens his hand. Let me also ask this question. Did the archway glow and glitter like that before? Uh, no. <laughs> As you can tell, I am full of good reading spit skill and brain power. I've got square brain tonight. The lever was always right. yeah, but this <laughs> glittering wasn't. Um, hold on, let's go back. We've got another skull to try. That's true. Hang on. The rooms of the archway glow with the mystical energy. You feel more than hear a low thrum of power. No. No. I fail to accomplish much of anything. The torch momentarily flickers. Eh. That'll be fine. We've got plenty of torches right now. Yeah, we got like ten torches. It's a lot of torches. Um, shoot, man. We are now at that point, aren't we? Uh, so we have to find out. Um we got a couple of things, right? Um, we've got... There's the floaty the, potion. There's a what potion? What? The, the floaty potion we should have gotten by now. We, normally we get that in the rope room, right? Well, there's no should have right now. Because they obviously remixed this for people who had played the original game. Right, right. And honestly, um, even if we had the floaty potion, it wouldn't have been any use until we got the wand later, anyway. Again, it's been remixed. But you're right. So we can't walk behind the waterfall. We get pushed back. Um, we probably have to freeze the waterfall, which means talk, trying to get that... Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, okay. No, I got it. And I'll explain my thinking here. The very first spell, I think it is, or maybe it's the second. Let me look at the second. If we look at the second spell, um, let's see, open the front of you with a metallic screech echoing from the recesses of your mind. Nope, not that one. The first one, then. Your mind glimpses some spectral person at the edge of your consciousness. Nope, not that one. I uh, sense of weight. I think it's one of the spells. I thought one of the spells like encaves, encaged mm -hmm. someone. 